What's going on you guys? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another division build video for you guys. This is patch 1.8.2 and this is going to be my max crit build zombie edition. Now this is going to be my solo six piece nomad 9k stamina. I call this my zombie build because I swear people think you are a zombie you will keep coming back and this build hits incredibly hard I do have the 60 on the crit chance and 136 on the crit damage now before we get into this I am Kamikaze Von Doom if you guys are new to this channel and enjoy these videos smash that like if you have any questions at all hit me down in the comment section below and if you are new all together to my channel and you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Now, this is the six piece solo nomad classified. I run the two house like I almost always do. One with deadly vicious, one with deadly unforgiving. And of course I have that predatory on my pistol everybody knows real quick get the predatory on your pistol killing a target regenerates 35 percent of your health over 20 seconds doesn't matter what you do if they are down on their knees pull out your pistol and just whip that fool now for my primary like I said deadly vicious with the card counter secondary unforgiving deadly with the card counter both fully optimized at 17.3k base damage. Now the weapon mods I am using on the primary loud vent break, small grip, extended mag, and pro red dot sight. Now to make this that max crit chance, max crit damage build, make sure you have 19 on the crit damage on your muzzle, under barrel, and optic. And make sure you have the three crit chance on your muzzle the three crit chance on your optic and the three crit chance on your extended mag and this extended mag is a little special it does have mag size crit damage and crit chance and you do all these steps and you will have another max crit chance max crit damage build now moving on to the secondary when you reach that second health segment switch over to your unforgiving deadly mine has loud vent break small grip extended mag and mini reflex sight on the loud vent break i have 19 on the crit damage 5-5 five, five on the headshot damage and 3 on the crit chance on the small grip 19 on the crit damage 5 on the reload speed 2.5 on the stability extended mag 8 118 on the mag size 4 on the crit damage 3 on the crit chance and finally on that mini reflex sight, 7.5 on the crit chance, 5.5 five on the headshot damage, and 4 on the crit chance. Looking at that, for the Unforgiving Deadly, I have 54.5 on the crit chance and 121 on the crit damage. And don't forget, you will have that Unforgiving procced as soon as you get down on health. So switch from the Deadly Vicious over to your Unforgiving Deadly and melt the guy. Now, getting into the actual six-piece build. This is not fully optimized. I did do a little tweaking in the recalibration center, but the armor is fully optimized. Now, doing the numbers alone, you see at my firearms, I have 4,157 on the firearms giving me a primary DPS of 367,989 on my stamina I have just above 9,000 at 9,070 bringing my toughness up to 604,552 and my electronics are bare bones at 2,961 with a skill power of 88,830 now to refresh all you new and returning players' memories, what the Nomad does. 
Set bonus 2 gives you health on kill at 15%. Set bonus 3 unlocks Nomad's Resolve. Grants you a constant small amount of healing, allowing the user to regenerate all segments of health during combat. And the final set bonus for the normal Nomad at set bonus 4 gave you the Path of the Nomad. Where if you are receiving fatal damage, you are instead healed to full health, and that only occurred every 4 minutes. However, with the Classified, you now have set bonus 5, giving you additional health on kill at 10%, bringing you up to 25% and also unlocks Improved Nomad's Resolve. That small amount of healing will now give you an overheal. And finally, the set bonus 6 gives you Nomad's Luck. 50% chance to have no cooldown on your Path of Nomad when playing solo. Like I said, this is my solo Nomad classified build for 1.8.2. And of course, when that Path of Nomad kicks in, you get 60% less damage for 10 seconds. Now, after going over the weapons, quick overview, dual houses, deadly vicious, deadly unforgiving, and make sure you have predatory on your pistol. Going on to the gear pieces themselves, starting off with the chest piece, it is rolled at stamina, with major attributes of health and enemy armor damage, and ammo capacity. Two mods I am running on the chest piece are two maxed out stamina mods with crit chance. Moving on to the backpack, rolled stamina, crit hit damage, and burn resistance rolled onto it. Um, me personally, I'd roll off burn for ammo capacity, but that's just me. And the mods on the backpack, maxed out stamina crit chance, and two maxed out first aid self heal mods. Down to the gloves, you have SMG damage, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage, and it is at 1401 on firearms. Onto the mask, rolled stamina with crit hit chance and disorient resistance. Uh, I again would change the minor attribute, this time I'd change it to damage to elites, just because when playing solo, I do like to clear landmarks as well as PvP. The mod on the mask is again maxed out stamina mod with crit chance. Knee pads rolled stamina with crit hit chance. Minor attribute, disorient, resistance, damage to elites, and kill XP. I would change the kill XP to anything other than kill XP. Mods on the knee pads, 266 on stamina, 3075 on health, and a maxed out first aid self heal mod. And finally, the holster, fully optimized, 1401 across the board, major attribute crit hit chance with a maxed out first aid self heal mod. Now continuing the character sheet, going on to the combat, it is right now currently sitting at 16% damage to elites with 25% health on kill. I do have that enemy armor damage from the chest piece. For the health, I have just above 400,000 health. And the armor, like I said, it is fully optimized at 8,008, giving me 33.5% weapon mitigation. My health regen currently is at 20,000. And finally, going on to the abilities and talents. Starting off with the talents, with it being 1.8.2, I highly recommend you guys run Adrenaline. And... For myself, I would take that off, put on Fear Tactics for the Shock Turret, because everyone knows you're going to run into Strikers playing solo, so you need to slow them down. And then I run Critical Save and Strike Back. Reaching low health gives you 20% more on your cooldowns, and using that med kit gives you damage resistance on top of that immunity from your Adrenaline. And now your shock turret gives you another 30% chance of shocking the other people. I run shock turret and the immune box. I don't really need a booster. I mean, I guess I could with it being, you know, the build it is. But I do like the little quick heal on my immune box. Now every once in a while I will switch these two. 
but I do save the shock turret when playing solo because you never know when a group of two or three people are just going to get you from behind and you need to get out of a sticky situation. I do run the recovery link because knowing my luck or any of your luck, you, you're not even going to get like one proc and then all of a sudden you have to use your recovery link. But there you have it guys. That's your six piece 1.8.2 solo nomad. I call this the zombie build. Because with those crits, man, you're mowing them down and you're just like a zombie. They just keep shooting you and you just keep coming at them. But like I said, it's your boy Kamikaze Von Doom. Smash that like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys need any help farming or doing PvP on Xbox, hit me up at Kamikaze Von Doom. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.